Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest The Suffering Podcast. I thought I would throw this one in because I did see a little bit more of the game this past weekend. And even though this particular video, this uh, this, this quote-unquote monster, isn't necessarily something like in terms of a creature, it's a human, in other words, I thought I would still mix it in because it still plays a very notable, uh, notable part within the game. It is a boss level too. So, and also it could be argued that whatever this, this prison, in whatever the calamity was that was associated with it it in turn corrupted this human this this warden and when that happened he in turn almost became a monster in of himself so i thought i would just mix them in just for fun too and it has to do with the character known as hargrave who you're looking at a picture of now so let's go ahead let's talk about all the information associated with this very unique boss encountered within the game it's gonna be a short video though because there isn't really much info to share on him so who was hargrave well, Hargrave was actually the warden within the prison. So everything that was happening within the prison itself, all this calamity, all this stuff involving these monsters rising up from the ground, coming out from whatever dimension, even arguably in terms of hell as well, all of this was happening on his watch. And whenever this occurred, he was someone that essentially uh, was able to find a specific spot uh, within the prison. It's known as V-Block, and he was able to surround himself within that portion of the prison and then make sure that nobody else would get to him him and some of the other correction officers there too you do hear some of his transmissions because as i was watching the um the playthrough out there on YouTube, the user was playing the game, and then every now and then there would be something of like a uh, almost like a biblical stating some somebody that was quoting some almost prophetic uh, statements within uh, the radio or whatever it was that was broadcasting throughout the game. And when that happened, it almost made you wonder like, what's going on? Who is this person that's quoting all these things? And lo and behold, when you go to that section there, known specifically as the V block, that's when you run into Hardgrave, and he was indeed the warden within the game. Very distinct looking character too. It looks unlike any of the other correction officers. He has like a noticeable, I guess, Texas almost appearance, almost a Texas drawl as well with regards to his voice. Far more muscular, far more stockier than the other inmates. Almost like a stereotypical uh, hard case, someone that you would see uh, within like an 80s movie involving like a big jock, that kind of stuff but Hargrave once you encounter him there what also makes him notable is he runs uh, this this gun turret something like a very very powerful weapon and the way that the v-block section is set up you're gonna have essentially one angle to get into his office it's basically through the door but lo and behold he is uh, cornered within that room the only entrance is that door but he has plain view of you coming towards him because of that glass window that's protecting I'm sorry that's allowing him viewership essentially to see everything that comes into play so the way it works is you see Hargrave he sees you but he's got that giant gun and he is aiming it for like five seconds at a time with a couple of seconds of rest and then five seconds again and you have to essentially find places to be able to get away from the harm of that big gun find places to hide behind essentially so that way you're out of reach all the time though he's got his loyal correction officers right there that are coming out at the same time shooting at you trying to find you as you're hidden within some of the other um, uh, 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 spots there within the v-block and all of this while you're trying to avoid Hargrave and his big gun but I mentioned also Hargrave because of his key characteristic so a lot of the other correction officers you run into within the game, I noticed that some of them will become your friend. Some of them essentially like realize they have to team up with you in order to survive this mayhem. Others essentially become your instant enemy. They take it upon themselves to just shoot you outright. And then some of them, depending on what actions you take, can t can go either way. So they 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 are essentially up in the air. This guy though, Hargrave, he's the f he's the one essentially that always shoots first 
ask questions later, you have no chance in terms of swaying him. And this is because I was mentioning earlier, it seems like this prison, absolutely, like whatever it was that was within the islands, um, and again, the game even mentioned sometimes that it could have been like an Indian burial ground, it could have been a place where there were rituals, uh, a place where there was just these strange happenings, even from before the days of the prison. Well, whatever it was that's there seemed to have corrupted this guy, this warden, because presumably he was not acting like this, like this hell-bent, almost like frothing at the mouth um, before everything happened, because if he was, then that's not a very good warden, and no doubt he would have been uh, changed afterward, like he, somebody would have replaced him, but whatever occurred, it seemed like this, this thing in the prison was the final tipping point, this fateful day, and then that's when he takes it upon himself to just basically dish out justice to all the inmates, anybody he finds, he considers it judgment day, according to what his uh, statings go, and when that happens, you are an inmate, and so he's trying to uh, essentially shoot you on sight, crazy stuff, I remember when I was watching the uh, playthrough, I was like, oh man, this is going to get interesting, because here you have this guy, perfect situation, him behind in the glass area, able to see everything coming towards him, and then he's got that giant gun, and then you have to essentially go into the doorway as quick as you can. Eventually, though, there's another way around it. You go up to the second level, you find a uh, opening towards the ceiling where where this guy Hargrave is looking underneath, and then you can shoot into it, and then that way you can beat him somewhat. But yes, that this was otherwise still a very very interesting, fascinating. Uh, um, quote unquote monster to run into within the game. Also the only correction officer too that um, um, has this type of gun if I'm not mistaken. I, at least I haven't run into any other ones yet that have this type of gun too so very distinct as well. But that's it. That's all the information associated with Hargrave the most distinct correction officer within the game. A warden essentially within the game itself. Obviously there's a lot more correction officers talk about a lot of other ones that have distinct features as well. Some of them like one one of them uh, apparently later on is found smoking weed. There's others that argue with each other. Uh, there's others that essentially become um, bait for the monsters like their cannon fodder. You see them executed by some of the introduction of the monsters. And then you see others that just go on and on ranting about what's going on within the game uh, that provide little clues here and there. But Hargrave is definitely the one that stands out between all of them. So, Alright everybody, thanks Ken as always. Take care.